Hi, it's Chris Waters with Waters International Realty. Welcome back to my video real estate blog where we talk about the real estate market in Central Texas. Um, before I begin with what we're going to be discussing today, be sure to check out at the top of our video real estate blog or on the right hand side of our uh, video real estate blog where you can get up to date information on the most up to date listings you will find online. This website is literally updated every single hour so you don't have to be worried about finding some home you fall in love with and then poof it's gone. Also we've got our home value estimation tool where you can find out instantly what your home would be worth and this is from a low end to a high end range. Okay so the topic of discussion today is what are the four biggest mistakes sellers make? Okay, so number one is not getting a pre-inspection completed on your home prior to going on the market. So contrary to belief, this is one of the best ways to get the highest return on investment. Ultimately, whoever ends up buying your home, there's a very high likelihood that they're going to get an inspection completed on your home. And a lot of times, those inspection reports are going to reveal something that's wrong with the property. And it's better you know in advance prior to the buyer finding out because what ends up happening is you're not negotiating as a seller from a position of strength and knowledge, right? So a lot of times what a buyer might do is they might find out through the inspection that for example your dishwasher's out and that dishwasher may only cost $500. But the buyer is going to go to the seller and ask for a thousand dollar price reduction because they're going to go online and find the best dishwasher, the ones that the one that they really want. So as you can imagine, this kills your ability to negotiate from a position of strength and knowledge. So this is something that can really help you be more transparent with the sale and also show a lot of value to a potential buyer when you can show them that you've taken the pride of ownership to make sure that the home is in great condition for any buyer that comes and looks at it. So typically this is something we make part of our marketing package is this pre-inspection report and then of course try to navigate the homeowner through dealing with some of those uh, repair items so that it doesn't become very costly once they're under contract. Not to mention buyers are also likely to terminate the contract which ends up wasting a lot of your time on the market. Okay, the second biggest mistake uh, most sellers make is overdoing upgrades. So, you know, HGTV is super popular right now. You see all the work people are doing to the properties. But in the Austin, Texas and surrounding areas, on average, you are not going to get a positive return on investment. So if you do upgrades or lighting or up upgrade the flooring, you're getting pennies back on the dollar. So if you spend $100, for example, on upgrades, you're only going to get back 30 to 40 cents on the dollar for your upgrades. So if you're thinking about doing upgrades, I would highly recommend you steer clear of doing that and instead uh, focus on things that are going to help you net a positive return, which, yield, uh, which moves actually into my third point, the third biggest mistake sellers make, which is not getting their home staged. So if you've got a property that's vacant, there have been just study after study that has proven getting a home staged is going to help a seller net significantly more money. I mean, we're talking six to seven percent more money when you get a property staged. And then, if if you're currently living in the home, uh, something a huge benefit of working with our team here at Waters International Realty is we actually pay out of our own pocket before the listing goes live for a professional home stager to meet with our clients and kind of show them how to get the home staged to show its best, not only for photos, but also for potential buyers that are walking into your home so that they can emotionally connect um, in the home and start imagining where they put furniture and imagine the, the, the family gatherings and the holidays in the home and, and emotionally connect with, with the property. And that's ultimately when they're going to make an offer. Okay, so um, again, staging, one of the that's another high yielding return on investment. Okay, the fourth biggest mistake I see sellers make is pricing a property too high. So, you know, obviously it's our job to make sure you net the most amount of money from the sale of your home. And we ultimately want to get you the, high, the most amount of money possible so you become a raving fan and send us referrals. So there's actually a, a method to this where we actually will identify past sold comps and then we have a special calculation that tells us where the market is moving going forward. So instead of just looking at historical sales, we can actually predict what's going to happen in two to three months by doing a calculation through what we call the market absorption rate. So we put, we put this together on every single listing appointment when we meet with the homeowner, we let them know what the market absorption rate is for their specific price range and in their location. And that's a huge bearing on where prices are going moving 
moving forward. And that's how you're actually going to maximize the sale price of your home because home values are not based off historical results. They're based off where the market's moving going forward. So it's, it's critical that you use this formula when you're pricing a home because if you end up pricing a property too long, you know, buyers, when they walk into home, that's the first question they ask. How long has this home been on the market? And if the days on market gets too high, buyers are going to start wondering, what's wrong with this home? And they totally change their mindset. They are trying to purposely find things wrong with the property versus imagining where their furniture is going and how they'll actually live in the home. So um, before I go, I just want to, uh, to say I hope, I hope this video was, uh, was helpful and this content was educational. Uh, but most importantly, if you're thinking about selling, don't forget at the top of our website here, you can uh, find out instantly what your home might sell for. Um, also, we've got an up-to-date uh, list of properties for sale. It's updated every single hour. You can get the most up-to-date listings just through our website and look at properties for sale just like we do as real estate agents. So thanks for watching, and please come, come back and uh, check out some more of our educational videos here on our real estate blog. Take care.